To me, the season started at the end of the year last year. Um, driving home, just kind of reflecting on all the things that we had to do better. Um, I had to do a lot better, make sure we had a plan in place to address getting stronger, uh, what we're going to do with our coaching staff, how do we add coaches, uh, how do we continue to build a culture that can, that can really help us prepare for the season. The investment that the school and the parents put into the weight room and the kids putting in the time, I thought it was invaluable. Um, and I thought I saw it all the way down to our freshman level. We saw kids who we don't have a very big freshman team except for maybe three or four guys, and then it kind of tapers off. But a lot of those guys you could see over time, over that 12-week window from when we started to when we, we got into the start of the season, you could just see it physically with how the kids were moving, how much more confident they carried themselves. Just having that weight room and having a coach that's going to come in and continue to build a consistent approach, doing it professionally, doing it together, and building that, that chemistry. Having guys out on the track when they were running and picking each other up and making sure that they were covered for each other, it was a big deal and it was a big part of continuing what we're doing. We're only going to build off of it. As we got into the season, uh, this year's team, we already knew we were going to have size. We knew we had some really good athletes. I think we have a lot of depth. It's not easy to get all the guys on the court at the playing time though, like, as much as we want to, but it felt like we could match up with teams with size. I felt like we could be quick, we could be athletic. So um, as we just continued into the season, you know, the one big thing we, we saw as we moved into December is we started to see guys start to buy into certain roles. And I thought we started just playing a little bit better every week. And then right when we hit Christmas time, that's when I saw, um, you know, in the York tournament, you're playing really good competition. And I thought we did really well. Hurting to losing the Palatine uh, at the buzzer was, was frustrating. But I thought overall, when you look at how we played in the York tournament, that really started tip start, kick start where we were going and making small little steps to get better as a team. Uh, guys getting more familiar, guys getting healthy. You know, going into the playoffs, the only negative was we had a real long break. 
Um, the benefit to that was we had guys that had a chance to go on Kairos without missing anything. We had a couple guys injured. We used that time to get them healthy. We played great against Sycamore. I don't think they were ready for uh, maybe our defensive effort, and I think the kids executed. Uh, starting off with Sebastian taking a charge after we had talked about that kid being a charge opportunity in any fast break situation, and then the first couple minutes of that game having him get run over like that was, was huge because it took away some of the momentum from them, and it made them use a little bit more of their bench. Uh, but after that, I thought defense, we played great, and I thought um, our execution was really solid. So it was a great way to start the playoffs. The regional championship game was just an awesome experience. The gym was loud. The kids' energy levels were off the charts. The fans were awesome. Our super fans were awesome. We had alumni from the, from the program for years there supporting us, and it was just a lot of fun. Um, I felt like the game, we were always in the game. I think the biggest steps that we had was maybe seven points, and then after that, I think we went on a 5-0 run. But I felt as we got into the fourth quarter, we came out in the fourth quarter, and um, we took the lead, I think, somewhat early in the quarter, and then it was a lot of back and forth. Um, it didn't look good for a little bit there, but um, Sebastian came down after it had, um, Danny had hit a huge step back three. Sebastian hit a layup that gave us, um, I think he put us down by three, and then it was just a matter of playing the free throw game. And then uh, the funny thing is the last notes that I had reviewed before we had left for the tournament was, and I mentioned a few of the coaches, that they're just not that great of a free throw shooting team. Once we caught it to, I think we were down one when they missed that free throw, I think 14 seconds was left. I just turned and once he missed a free throw and I said, we're gonna win this game. We had a play that we had set up that I felt like if we ran it right, we were gonna get a good look out of it. And I thought we'd get a layup and then all of a sudden I turn around and Brandon's throwing the ball to Sebastian and we're getting a layup. So we went from, oh my God, we're down one, let's hopefully we'd score here to let's get up back on defense. We're up by one, we got six seconds to go. And, don't give up a layup and make somebody hit a tough shot and just it was um, it was the most intense ending of a game I had been around in a long time it was just really cool I was very happy for the kids very happy for the coaching staff a lot of my guys did so much to help in those games and it was uh, it was just a really really fun experience for the kids and everybody involved I was very proud of uh, just how we battled